It's 20 minutes after 6 o'clock. Country music artist Cody Hibbard will take the stage tonight at the Backyard in Waco. But before that, I got to sit down and catch up with him at the Dixie Chicken. We talked about his transition from working the pipeline to music. your story because it sounds like music has always been a part of your life but you didn't realize it was going to be your life everything yeah, no. so kind of walk us through how you uh started this whole wild ride yeah no uh when i was four years old mom put me in piano and she wanted me to be a prodigy and something so we couldn't figure it out and i actually i was drum major in band too and all kinds of stuff I did all kinds of music stuff growing up but i just you know, as a kid, you have other dreams of doing other stuff. And then, you know, I worked on a farm, my family's farm for all that time growing up. So music was always there and it was always kind of a crutch to, you know, fall on whenever, you know, I needed it. But it didn't, I never imagined playing on stages, especially with some of the people we've gotten to play with. Ran the roads pipeline for about seven years and was actually headed down to Conroe, Texas for a job and uh, stopped off at Crockett, Texas. and. Um, our waiter looked at me and goes, man, you don't sound how you look. And I said, yeah, I get that all the time. And my buddy that I was eating there with, good buddy of mine, he said, uh, man, you think that's messed up? You ought to hear him sing. We finished eating. He's like, man, do you play guitar? I was like, yeah, yeah a little bit. And he goes, man, my little cook's got a guitar. Would you, if we break it out, would you play it? And I was like, well, I got mine in my truck. Let me go get mine and well, I'll play mine. And I knew three songs at the time. I said, I'll play all three. I know and that's it. That's all y'all get. So mm -hmm. I played all three. The manager was like, hey, um, would you be interested in coming back and playing a, a show? I was like, sure, why not, whatever. She's like, well, you got to provide sound and you got to set it up. And I was like, well, don't have sound and I don't know how to set it up, so we're on a good track. So, And she's like, and it's four hours. And I was like, oh, crap, because it was three three weeks from that time. Yeah, you're the like, show I got was, three songs. Yeah, I told her, I <laughs> said, you, I do? you do know those are the only three songs I knew. She goes, oh, you'll be all right. We'll play jukebox and we have some breaks. We were back together and this one's just for the record. Started writing and kind of things started falling together and here we are. And of course, he is playing The Backyard tonight. You can get those tickets at thebackyardwaco.com. He played a song for us that was so beautiful called Go Ask Your Mother. And I hope that he plays that tonight. He did play it for Texas Voices, which premieres as a full-length show on January 16th at 6.30 p.m. That's right after the 6 o'clock news right here on 25 News. All right, let's